Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Imladris campaign. So in our last episode we did have a, a small battle against the forces of the Angmar armies. And actually I'm gonna I'm gonna attack this small one as well. Uh, barely able to, to get it. Well, no problem at all. Let me see, this Rangman set of armor is quite far away. Uh, this prince, I have thought about it, and I'm gonna send it to Austin, Edil, and Moria just to keep an eye on things. You know, just a few units should be doing, yes, should be well. Let me check on my diplomats here. That's it. Can I give you my map information for some gold? I don't know. You're bankrupt. Do you want that? Nah. Doesn't matter. They are really annoyed with me. They are really annoyed with me. So, 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 I'm gonna get some more units on the next turn, which could, I, I think all of them are going to go for this uh, hair, let's say. Um, yeah, let's end up the turn. Oh, I forgot to move this diplomat, which I had immediately, I, I was actually with my camera on him, so I would remember him, and I completely forgot about it. Okay, let's see if Umbar approaches us, because I certainly don't want this to be going on for too long, you know, this this gentleman here is causing me a lot of problems. So far the invasion seems more like Medieval 2 invasions than actually Third Age. You know, they don't gang up all on you uh, immediately. Well, he's going, to, he's going on the other side. Well, I guess it's fine. He's going to meet up with Elrond. <laughs> So if he's far away, maybe I can do this easily. Mission success, two sword candy, plus the Dundain warriors, Gondorian Spandars, the Solano kings, the stewards took reign of Gondor's leadership, uh, however the power has shone through the men as they reclaim that which uh, since the days. Land of Stone shakes at its vast armies. Whoa! They are, they are going really well. North Ithilien is at getting attacked. That's fine. Relations worsens, war declared, oh, recruitment report, I know, new family report, oh, that's fine. So this gentleman should go down here, you should go over here, and all of these armies, yeah, these guys are going to go with this guy, that's basically it. And the archers that I can, you know, sword and Noretim warriors, as soon as possible, of course. Now, what do I want? Do I want communal farmings here? Well, I guess... I guess I could. You know, the mining networks... Oh, come on. Oh, well, they would... Give me... Really well, it would be really good. Let me see. Hall of Song? No, certainly not. Communal farming... Well, I do need the population growth, so I'm just gonna do a few communal farmings here and there. I guess that's fine. Let me check on this area. Austin Nidil, it's fine. Let me see if I can get some gold from Breeland. Uh, where are some Bree stuff? I shall continue to There's Bree. So, my spy, let me check what is going on with this guy. Okay, Renmets of Angmar and Dunedains are actually doing well. They're under attack over here. In the meantime, I think I have more than enough to deal with what he has over here. Okay, pocket armies that I'm going to destroy on this episode. That's about it. Engage them, Captain Luke, of course. Small battles, but I'll try not to lose anything at all. You know, just with the elves you should be as, uh, as effective as possible, especially with these... Uh, types of armies, you know, elite types of armies. You know, once they reach your lines, the battle must be over. That's basically it, you know. I just want my arch or my archers to do most of the damage. Now, same thing as I did on the last episode, which was two lines of swordsmen. Elrond can hold up the middle pretty, pretty well on his own. Now, where are his men? There they are. Let me move them forward here. Go! I have better stamina than all of his units, so I don't have any problem at all. If 
so long as my units are really far away from each other, I can deploy them well. So does he have any... All I know is there's savage here, some goblin bands. Let me check one thing. Goblin band. Okay, that's fine. The orc marauders. That's fine. And the ruder savages. No. None of them is ranged. So this is going to be a slaughter, actually, guys. Okay, my archers are going to get deployed really well. Can I just move them here? Yes, I can. Group 2. You can go over here. Group 3. You can go over here. That's it. Cavalry on their backs. Come on. You're going to go here. Fast forward, and there we go. Start shooting them, will you? Well, they are moving over to the hill, actually. So I don't have a problem with that. I'm actually gonna enjoy that. Let's move you forward. Group 2. Really far away from each other. I like this idea now. Really far away, I mean. Just so I can have enough room to deploy everyone. Fast forward. Oh, there, there, there he comes. Now, the savages, let me see, they are going to try and attack somewhere. And since they are going to try and attack somewhere, which is here actually, I'm just going to re-throw them. That's it. Withdraw my forces. No problem at all. In the meantime, he's going to suffer so much. That's it. My archers can kill or slay most of his forces easily. So you guys, you're just going to withdraw. That's it. There he is, trying to attack me. Let me send my cavalry here. Maybe that would draw them out. Noretimo warriors, go over here. Boquendi, go over here. Go over here. That's it. Yeah, I know. He's trying, trying desperately to move here. Let me deploy my cavalry on his back so that he'll start having some issues here. Oh, come on. Archers, get out of there. Get out of there. Let's charge you up. Get out of there. I didn't want you engaged. Damn it. To do this, you really, really, really need to be on your toes, guys. Noretti Warriors, I lost way too many that I wanted. Okay, at least my cavalry managed to do what I wanted. Now my archers can do this. These guys can attack the Orc Marauders, as well as this. Okay, lost too many Noretti Warriors for what I actually wanted. My Imladris guards, well, they can deal with his Orc Marauders pretty easily. His Goblin Bands are gonna start getting wrecked. Come on, Cavalry, let's go over here and charge. I know they are routing, of course. My archers are destroying those units, so I lost a few Noretimu warriors. We killed the general, or actually captured, assuming... Continue the battle. I can go over there. You guys just stop your fire. Come on, Cavalry, catch them. Yeah, a little bit of bad micromanagement on my behalf, but I didn't know that those savages are quite quick, I gotta say. Let's go a little bit faster, catch them all. Come on, catch that all. Good. Clear victory, I lost 15 men, actually 13 of them were healed up. Oh, it actually, does it calculate that? I didn't notice. Okay, so far, so good. So far, so good. Come on. I need a few more battles like this to weaken, severely weaken them. Let's see if I can even reach that spot. I can. That's exactly what I want. Let me check this guy and this guy. None of them can reach this area, so that's exactly where I'm going to go. 
And I'm gonna take Nokfa Reglo. Assault it because it doesn't have walls. <laughs> really nice. Capturing another one for more income. So what does he have? Some Snagger Rebels, which are peasants. One, 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 one. There are 252 guys with one, so that makes it a little bit more complicated. He does have one Snagger Archer and some Goblin Trackers there. But the rest is just plain and simply easy. So surround and destroy. That's about it. That's about it. Wow, this is a, this is not a, this is not a, a clip. This is a, a drawing, I believe, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe it's part of the movie. I don't know. Start the deployment, of course. So since I want my archers to do most of the bidding, and then I want to attack, I want to attack through this area. Actually, with elves, attack on all, on all four areas, I would say. So let's have like this. Uh, groups of one one group here with two swordsmen group one and two are here these other units uh, actually you guys group three and four you're gonna go on this side I guess yeah three and four that's it you sword Quinny you're gonna go on this side Shift one, please. With the Noretimu warriors. That's it. Lord Amron, you're gonna go on his back with the cavalry. And that's about it. Now, he does have a few units here and there. So let me just do this. You can engage here. Come on, run in. Group three, you can engage over here. Get on with it. Group four, you can go here. Run, group two, run over there, group one, actually over at their front, group three, you can go uh, at the front, I believe, something like this, group four behind them, that's it, group five, a little bit forward, well, I guess these archers can go here, group five, you can go here. Aaron, Lord Aaron, you can go over there, and cavalry can go over there. So far, so good. Everyone runs. Fine. It's just going to be an archer fest. This guy can uh, also attack them. So whoever, uh, whatever he sends to attack me, is not going to work too well. That's it. Okay, so goblin bands are under attack. I don't know where his archers are, but if he just sends goblin bands one at a time, he's gonna lose several men. Can you attack everything else? Yes, you can. I'm just checking the range there. Archers are doing, starting to do their damage. That's it. Attack those goblin bands. He's not gonna have be a lot happy with this. Group 3. I guess I can stay here. You know, Elrond is arriving against the Orc Albertiers. Well, Cavalry can be here. And Elrond can be here. Okay, Group 3. Certainly you can go here. Run. Run over there. Over here doesn't seem like he's gonna do any anything. Neither he's gonna do here. Run. Run. Group four. Well, he's not doing too much, isn't he? Over here, what's going on? The Albertiers? They're not doing anything. Let's increase the combat effectiveness of everyone. So what's going on here? These guys are already broken. That's fine. These guys should be broken, breaking in just a little bit. These archers, who are you firing against? Something else. I guess these rebel, I believe. Okay, archers, get out of there. Charge them. 
Come on, archers. Swords Quenny, you can get through. Over here, everything is fine. These guys are attacking on the middle. He's going to charge here and, you know, just plain lose. This guy is doing well. Let's see the charge. Guess these orc arbiters. Come on. 130, 128, 26, 21. Okay, let's stop you. Let's get you out of there. What else is going on here? This goblin man is dying. This goblin man is wavering. These guys are shaken. You're gonna charge again. Goblin bands, of course. These trackers. Poor trackers and snugger archers. They're not doing anything, actually. They're losing too many men. Now, how many men have lost? A 1%. These are fighting to the death. We killed the enemy general. That's good. That's why he was hanging on on that side. That's why he was hanging on. So now, you can actually move. I don't know. Maybe you can move backwards again. You can move here. Archers, are you able to attack them there? Yes, you are. Thank you very much. Heavy cavalry, you've killed them all. Now he could charge them over there. It's no problem. Sword 20, you're moving in. Run. Archers, you're attacking. Whoa, hang on, Sword 20. That's it. Run. Cavalry, you're attacking some rabble. You're attacking rabble. Just that. Shouldn't be taking any casualties. Okay, now just... Let them die with my archers. That's exactly it. Let me zoom in a little bit. So I get to see if there are any threats. Let's charge this rabble. On their backs. That's good. That's it. That guy is really brave. My whole other cavalry unit is going to shake them up. Come on, they are shaken. They shouldn't even kill one of them. They are killing them. I don't know why. Come on, run here. Archers are doing well. Doesn't seem like he has too much there. Yeah, I'm not going to move in before this is done. Yeah, come on, archers. Do your duty. What's over here? Some snug archers and trekkers there. It's fine. Okay, most of my men have lost their ammunition, so I can just move in now. I guess it's fine now. You're gonna move here. You're not group 3, you're group 4. You can just move here, I guess. Something like this. You can just move here. Run them down. You can attack them. Charge them through. Now you says, you're going to stop your fire. Well, no need. You actually have no more, no more arrows. So, perfectly timed. Snaga rebel, they're going to get killed and slaughtered. Wavering, 131, 114, that's good. My lord Elrond is arriving now. This guy is going to attack there, and this guy is going to attack there. You are pursuing them. That's it. Slay those snug archers, and now everything is done. Good. Good attack. I lost 3% of my men. End the battle. 23 men lost. Actually, a little bit less than that, because I got some casualties healed up. Really nice. Really nice. One more victory. And that will be it for today. Actually, a smaller episode, guys, just because I really need to go. So, thank you very much for watching uh, this Nokva Raglo uh, village. I'll just show you how much do I get from it. Probably like 400 or something income. Not too much. Yeah, certainly. Oh, 400 income, actually. Not too bad. Not too shabby, actually. 
So now, do I need to leave some units here? Certainly. Maybe just one sword quenny. So, this sword quenny is going to leave there. Everyone else is going to go. Can I use a watchtower here? Certainly. So now my spy needs to check for this army to see if they actually come and attack me. So far, so good. These guys are fine. These guys will protect against the Umba army. Where is it actually? I saw it going over here. Well, there he goes. I have nothing to say to you. Yeah, maybe he's go. If he goes there, he's gonna meet Elrond, which is gonna be his his problem. And yeah, for now everything seems cool. Let me see. Maybe I can move my diplomats before I have to go. Yeah, this guy. I need to talk with uh, Mordor actually. Where's the other? Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna talk to Rune. Well, do you want your map information? What do you want for your map information? Very for it. No, you don't want anything. Damn you. Okay, guys. So I'll leave it to it. Goodbye. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you've been. You're enjoying this in Ladris campaign.